Welcome to Drafting with Jamie Rigatti for Seems Good Magic Deck Ham. Today we're doing M19 Intermediate Swiss Draft League. I know the cube is out, but I was just feeling an M19. The set is not too shabby. It's not like fantastic, it's not too flashy, but once in a while you just want to take Vampire Solvin. Card is great, I'm gonna take it. Um, if this was not here, I'd be like probably leaning towards heroic reinforcements. I know it's two colors, but it's so yummy. But I, I cannot pass that card. Are you kidding me? I can't PS that. No, that card is great. Is great. Show guard. Hmm. Okay, well, I think we should probably take Rabid Bite here. Playing Mare is pretty good. Is it better than Rabid Bite? No. I do have a very strong interest in being black because this card's amazing. So there might be a chance that we are actually supposed to take Plague Mare here. Uh, I, can't, I can't pass a Rabid Bite. I don't have it in me. I don't have it in me. That card is great. Um, okay, so here we have like Take Vengeance or Epicure. Once again, I sort of have a vested interest in playing black. I know that this goes with the life gain deck, which is black white, so it makes it a little bit awkward to, to pass the Take Vengeance, but it's cutting black pretty good by taking this and yeah i don't i think rejuvenator is okay but we can get that late i just don't feel like anything else is like take me take me Ooh, vine mare is like take me take me that's pretty late vine mare is kind of a boss strangling spores is okay i don't love it though so i'm gonna take the vine mare over that bristling boar pretty good Late-ish shock. Late-ish. Late-ish. There's a lot of stuff that has three power butts in this set, though. Ooh, why did I almost take that? Because it's adorable, but that's not what we want. with bristling boa. Yeah, black green's fine. Black green stuff. As long as it's good stuff, you'll be okay. I'm very, very, very excited for Guilds of Ravnica. My favorite guild is Rectus. Right, I love me some red black, it's so much fun. I've taken like the quiz though, and it, uh, I'm Simic apparently, is like my true essence. Which is a little sad. There's a second heroic reinforcements floating around that is Gary, the card is good. I mean, we're not in a cube. I mean, we're, yes, we're not in a cube, but we're also not playing in our pod. So that's what I was trying to say. So it's not too scary. Okay, Rupture Spire, if we feel like we're gonna splash, which is definitely a possibility, I might snap that up. Rock Slurple's pretty good, but we just end up with a ton of five drops. Um, Woodland Stream is also like a possibility here. I'm gonna take the Spire. Because we might try to splash some stuff. Plus we have some double green, double black. I feel like that's it's probably fine to have around. You know? Vivian's Invocation. I mean, I know this is like not everyone's cup of tea, but it's it's definitely my cup of tea. It's I don't care that it's seven mana. You find your creature card and you're fighting some while dealing damage. It's it's a one way, it's not even a fight. I like it. Granted, sometimes you can whiff or you can find something that doesn't, it's just like not big enough to kill what you wanna kill, but you still normally will be able to take something out on your opponent's side of the board. So I think it's aight. I don't think we need to take a second Epicure. I think I'd rather just have the Archer here. I mean, our cards are 
pretty good. We just have one non-creature spell though so far. That's a little it's a little concerning, but our creature quality is quite good. Oh wait, no, just kidding. Vivian's invocation. Duh. Duh. Okay, two non-creature spells. Hmm. Blood divination is kind of fun if we have a, a lot of things to sack. So I might take that, see what happens. I don't really want another five drop. Duress is like a sideboard card. So yeah, let's take this and see what happens. I don't know that we play it. I wanna have some good like sacrifice fodder before I slam that in my deck, but it's pretty good. That's a very late essence scatter. <sighs> That's very late. It's very late. No respect. Okay, plummet is fine for the board. Titanic growth. Yeah, I'm into it. That's fine. That's fine. Sure. Endurance is okay. Night, night, night. Child of Night. Ugh, oh my goodness. Why is this still here? That makes me so sad. That's like first pickable for me. I love that card. I mean, I know it's a gold card, so like you're a little sad to take it first pick, but if it like works out, you're just so happy with that card. The card is fantastic. That makes me like a teeny tiny bit sad, but I'm okay with what we got going on here. Okay. Um, Spitflame, Hiromancer's Cage, both very good cards, both not in our colors. I might still take the cage. Like, I think that's pretty splashable and it deals with whatever. So I'm happy to take that, I think. Um, Giant Spider's okay. We have a lot of four drops going on though. And I don't know, we have other ways to deal with flyers, I think, i.e. we have a big butt flyer, right? Yup, and we got plummet if we need it. So yeah, I'm gonna take the cage. Gargoyle Sentinel is probably a decent pick up there too. Ooh, Gravedigger is nice. This four drop slot is filling up, but I will make room for a grave digger. Maybe we're just not playing two archers. We'll see. Gotta figure out if we can splash this. So far, we have Rupture Spire, which is fine. Um, yeah. I always feel like grave digger's holding a cup of coffee. I guess that's like a. What is that? I don't even know what that actually is. Oh, it's like a gauze thing on his hand. To me, it looks like he's holding like a mug and it's like steamy. Poison tip archer, well dang. And gift of paradise. So this might be a case where we go, I don't know. It's possible that we could wheel this and maybe take like Gift or Manolith to try to splash this. But is this necessary to splash? If we don't end up splashing, it's not the end of the world. So I think Poison Tipped Archer is just too good to pass. <gasps> now we have two of them. Oh my goodness. That's nice. Oh, Gigantosaurus. Mm, no, we could have actually had three heroic reinforcements. That is nasty. Um, so I'm kind of into Rocks Oracle, but I just feel like I don't want to take too many five drops. So I might just take another Titanic growth, but we already have abnormal endurance. I guess I will take the Oracle. That's fine. I need to lower this curve. Ooh, that is nice. Expanse is great, because now Cage is definitely splashable. Um, we're gonna need some two and three drops though. I don't really wanna play Child of Night. I'd rather upgrade this. We need to lower our curve creature-wise for sure. But I'm into playing two poison tip archers. Like that's kind of exciting. I'm just gonna take the mythic. I don't think it's worth anything, but I really don't want any of this stuff. 
So just in case we can get like 10 cents or something from that. Dang it, so many heroic reinforcements. That makes me so sad. Okay, let's take Highland game though. I'm not into our two drops, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do to make it to the late game. Uh, I don't want any of that. Yeah, was a... Okay, your per guide is great. Okay, good. Now this slot is filled a little bit. <sighs> Five drop. Yeah, I don't really feel the need to play a duress. Maybe. Oh, um, yeah, we'll play that against flyers. So it's nice to have around. I don't think it needs to be in the main though. Our four drop slot is stacked. We're not in a bad place going into pack three. I don't think I can play this. Sovereign's I love this card. I love this card so much. In a life gain matters deck, I think it's really cool to have three of them. I know it's really bad, but I like it. It's like my pet card. Wow, this pack is awful. This is like one of the worst packs I've ever seen. That's really bad. We're gonna take Talons of Wildwood, that's fine maybe not actually maybe we take rejuvenator yeah let's take rejuvenator because our curve is actually kind of high i think talons is pretty good though but i think rejuvenator is probably what we want here rejuvenate okay yeah i'm not unhappy with what's happening so epicure is pretty not good for us we don't really have any life gain stuff um, so we'll take that out. I mean, besides Vampire Sovereign. But four, 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 five, we can do better than that. Oh, Symbiant. Oh, dang. Um. So I think our choices here are like apparatus. But if we're already splashing for white for the cage, I guess we could splash for luminous bonds too. I don't love it, but I, th I think we can. I just really don't want anything else. Uh, Pegasus Corsair is great, but I don't think we're supposed to splash for that. So many four drops, like, I think I just take Thornhide Wolves, actually. Um, okay, I do love Dreadmaw. Spectre is another four drop. Oh, goodness. Yeah, I think we're just taking the, the big old trampler. Okay, Doom Dissenter is good-ish. I mean, I don't think it's good. Oh my goodness, another Grave Digger? Wow, and a Rupture Spire and a Rejuvenator. I'm kind of into all that stuff, but I don't know that I can pass another Grave Digger. I mean, this card is great. Having two of them is fantastic. I love bristling boar. I don't want to cut any of our four drops. Oh my. Okay, oaken form, sentinel, marauder's axe. Hmm. I don't think sentinel's like doing very much for us. I don't know that I'm playing an oaken form either though. We don't have that much evasion, so I don't love Marauder's Axe. I really don't love it. If we're gonna play anything, it might be open for him, I don't know. 
Okay, manolith. I actually kind of want the manolith um, just as like ramp and to splash the luminous bonds maybe. I don't think we need another Highland game. I don't think armor is going to be that good. Uh, da, 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 da. Talons, sure. It's a late Bogart produce. Did y'all see that? Wow. Okay, we have good flying heat. So that's nice. Macabre Waltz, eh? Um, possibly, but now we have two grave diggers. So if anything, I think I'm playing an abnormal endurance. Okay, hard blade is okay. So I think we're gonna cut like child of night. Although I guess Hi child of night is just better than Highland game. Because you, it might be a repeatable lifelink effect. I mean, I really don't care about the two life anyway. Um, okay. If our opponent plays a lot of X ones, we can bring stuff in. Wow. Okay. Um, maybe we're just cutting luminous bonds. Let's see. I think I'm cutting rocks oracle. I know that it like draws a card, but I think it's our worst five drop. Um. So we're at twenty three now. I really don't love our like early game, but I also think it's kind of important to have some stuff there. Um, yeah, we're a little light on removal, so I think I am gonna splash the luminous bonds in the and the cage. Because our other removal is what? Rabid bite and invocation. Yeah, it's probably not enough. We do have two poison tips, which is nice. Very nice. Okay. So let's add some basics. I think we could play two planes, because then we have four sources of white. Eight forests, so we have ten sources of green, and then two. Well, we have six sources of black. Wait, I can add another one here, right? That means we have seven with the spire. So seven. Okay, wait. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. That's eighteen lands. Ooh. Oh, we have a manolith too. So I actually think we can just play one planes. I don't know how that happened. I think 17 lands is fine. So we can put back in... I think I'm just gonna put a Highland game in just because... Ugh. Maybe a Talon's Wild that actually... I like the repeatable effect on this. Um, I really just only like two drops in this format. I don't. Uh, this deck has some good stuff going for it. Two grave diggers is nice. Two poison tips is nice. This guy, great, fantastic. Um, mm, the rest of it is not not very not very exciting. So we'll see what happens. But I definitely think we're capable of a two one. We're gonna try for that elusive three zero. So thanks for watching and wish me luck. Okay, starting up round one here with the green black deck. Okay, three drop, four drop, except for it's not really a four drop, five drop, six drop. I don't necessarily think we want to play that on four, but it's it's possible if they kill our higher blade, you know. It's a keep though. Can't throw this back. Ooh, now that's a four drop I'll play on four. Fantastic, now we just need a couple of lands. Yeah, heck yeah. Oh, walking corpse. Oh, I'm not blocking that. We're just gonna PS play higher blade on their end step. A walking bear. Mm -hmm. Alright, they do not trade here, I'm pretty sure. Sure. 
That's interesting. Whenever another creature dies, each opponent loses one life. Okay, so with endurance, that's kind of interesting, but I do think we just try to play Sovereign here. Unless they have Essence Scatter, this is going to feel a little bit bad, but not really because we have a Grave Digger, so it's not a big deal. I mean, of course, I don't want it to get countered, but if it did, we have a backup plan. Oh, how nice. Okay. Um. So I guess, I guess we just pass. And then if they attack us with their sovereign, we can try to throw the endurance on our sovereign. We'll kill theirs. I don't know. I kind of wish they didn't play a sovereign right after I played my sovereign, because I want my sovereign to get in. But what are you gonna do? Alright. I would love to draw a land so we can play this dread maw, because that'd be nice. Yeah. It's whenever another creature dies, so it's not like that's gonna trigger it. Alright, let's try this. Combat trick! I mean, they have four cards and they have blue mana, so this could go horribly wrong, but you know, sometimes you get lucky. Jin. Oh, that's kind of bad. All right, white mana would be cool. Okay, no, we're just. Uh, that's awful. That's so bad. I mean, we have our poison tip, but I really would have liked to get it with Sovereign. And they get to make a lot of wishes here. I don't like that. See, so yeah, ideally we would have drawn our uh, one planes there. That would have been great. Because now they get to make all the wishes. No! I mean, I guess I, well, since we have the poison tip, they at least are not attacking. But drawing three cards off of a card is not, not ideal. Even if they're just, they have to pay four mana a turn, that card's really broken. It's very good. So, Bristling Boar can't be blocked by more than one creature. We can send that. And if they block with Skeleton, they still lose a life, so it's not for nothing. Um, it's just sort of unfortunate that we didn't draw a land, because Gravedigger is doing nothing. I guess I Maybe I was supposed to send Poison Tip as well, and then Grave Dig it back. But I don't think so, because that lets him get in with Jin, and that's not very good for us. Just a little stuck here. You wishing? Yeah. Yeah, you wishing? Ether Tunnel. What? Okay. So Ether Tunnel on Jin's pretty good. Ether Tunnel on a 2-2 two -two flyer. Okay. Sure. Right, we just need to draw some white lens, please. Perfect. Okay. So, Luminous Bonds. I mean, we're going to take three a turn from this, but I th think, I think I want to play Dreadmaw first. Because if we draw another land, we can do two things in a turn next turn. Which I'm okay with. Okay. 
This is pretty big. That's a big boy. Sure. Yeah, I like having poison tip around with the reassembling skeleton because at least we do a damage. That's a little helpful. I will take three. Like, I know we're not playing Cage and Luminous Bonds at the same turn. That would be way too much to ask. Plague Mare. Okay. It's fine. That is fine. Titanic growth. Okay, so let's send... just those two for now because okay they're gonna take six maybe no bounce disperse okay um now do i want to take another three i think we can It's actually good, I guess, because, well, they wouldn't have to eat their tunnel on it. Um, but they could have dispersed their own blood letter and replayed it. But that's not really doing very much good. Okay. That's fine. We're okay. Sure. Jin, if they win this game, that is exactly what won them this game. But we're it's we're not in a bad spot here. So tapped out of blue, which is good. Um, let's do yeah, luminous bonds. And then let's I guess I could have done that after combat, but let's send this and this. We have Titanic growth, but I don't really want to attack with too much stuff. Sure. Sure. Uh-oh. I wonder if they have, like, a return from grave thing. That's annoying. Um, but three creatures are dying here, which is nice. Well, four creatures with the skeleton. Cool, cool, cool. Cool. Okay, and now they just have this, which is okay. Oh, and the skeleton. That's fine. But they're not attacking with that, so no worries. I wonder if they have some sort of, yeah, like a grave digger, some kind of recursion for this gin. Yup, there it is. Macaw Waltz. Yucky, yucky. But that's why I held the cage. So we'll cage that this turn. We're in okay shape here. Oh, right. Vampire Sovereign. Yucky. It's fine. Yeah. Um, okay, so if we caged the Sovereign, we would be attacking for 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So I think that's gonna be good enough. Yes. Okay. I don't think we need another source of light. I think three is enough. Four, actually. Because we have the Rupture Spire, Plains, Tranquil Expanse, and Manolith. Like right there, we had both white cards in our hand and we were waiting for white for a little bit, but I don't think that's gonna be the norm. Um, the things we care about the most, I could actually probably just cut Luminous Bonds and play a Plummet because the things that are really threatening to us are the big flyers. 
like their vampire sovereign and the gin. So instead of playing Illuminous Bonds, I think I'd rather just play the Plummet. Although this keeps them from recurring it. But they have bounce as well, so I think the Plummet's fine. Hmm, maybe we can play that and take out just like the Talons. I do like Talons though with our big stuff. But this, this does a good job of keeping some things um, not, I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. It does all right. Luminous Bonds is not like super glamorous, but it, it does what it needs to do. That's, that's all I'm saying. Which is uh, keep their threat out of my face. All right. Mm, sure. Any land will be fine here. Oh, I love when we get to go three different lands. That's nice. Oh, um, I'm probably just gonna Titanic growth that as a removal spell. Oh, hey, I did it on my turn just in case I countered it. Okay. So, Luminous Bonds. No, let's play the guide first. They have to pay mana to use that, so that's fine. If that's how they want to use their turn, I will allow it. I wonder if they're thinking about it. No. Okay. We are very far away from invocation. Um. So I guess I could attack, but I don't like... I don't really like attacking into that um, with them having open mana. I guess I could. Maybe they just trade it. That's fine. I don't actually think that's that bad. I don't have amazing ways to deal with a flyer at the moment. Rejuvenator. Okay, it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Cute. Can't be blocked by green creatures. Okay. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So close to invocation here. Um, yeah, so we're just gonna flash in higher blade. No, they could counter it. They could try to kill it. We can use endurance. I don't know. Oh no, that's bad. Oh no, not rot rip. It's fine. Can't be blocked, but we can luminous bonds on next turn, so it's not a big deal. It's annoying because they get the draw card, but whatever. Wow, they're going for damage here. Um, I'm, well, they get to rummage, not actually draw a card. They have to discard. Well, no, loot. Draw a card, discard. That's loot. Sorry. Meteor Golem. Jeez, they pitched Meteor Golem. What the heck. Invocation. I don't think that's actually going to be good enough because we have to find something that's five power or greater to kill that. I don't think that's happening. I'm just going to luminous bonds and save this for the next thing that they play because. That's a big butt. That is a big butt. You got big booty, you little horsey. He is very cute. I actually think this is probably the cutest one of the horses. I have this conversation a lot, actually, which which uh, 
of the horses in this set are the cutest. The white one's pretty cute too. Rise from the grave. Blah. Okay. Destroy target non-land permanent. Um. Do I want to save a 3-2? Like, I guess. It's fine. Against a 3-3? Sure. Sure. All right, let's give this invocation a go here. <sighs> Poison tip archer. Wait, 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 wait. It deals damage equal to its power. It's not fighting, so it's not actually using the death touch ability, right? So I'm probably supposed to get Thornhide Wolves. But Poison Tip Archer is so good. Archer's just like really nice to have around. Wait, it does deal damage, so this is gonna kill it. That touch, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Um, nice. I mean, to be honest, like a four or five would be pretty good on this board, but poison tip is just so good. It's really tough to deal with, and with a rabid bite too. So like, whatever they play, like we can just bite it. I like that. I like it. I like it a lot. Switcheroo! Oh no! That's not good though! I need that! Chucks. I mean, I can kill it. But I'd rather, like, have it. That's sad. But I guess it's good we didn't play the 4 or 5 because that would have just held down the fort. Like, I wouldn't have been able to deal with that at all. The Cobb Waltz. Okay, wait, they got back the Guardian. And what was the other thing they got back? Oh, the Duck Hand. Great. Mm hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I guess that's correct. I'm actually, I'm a tiny bit surprised they blocked there because that card's really good. They are at seven, so going to four is a little scary. I guess they're dead to Titanic growth if we had another one. Golem. Okay, they're going to kill Child of Night. That's fine. Now they have a 3-3, three, three. <laughs> so, <laughs> ah, where are my big boys at? Shoot, Diamond Mirror, uh-oh. I like that card, I like it in a life game deck. Ooh, that's nice. That's a very good draw right now, thanks. So Poison Tip with Invocation is like actually very good because it does deal damage. <gasps> no! Don't dwindle that, that's rude. Oof. Okay. Oh, Jin. All right, so ideally we draw cage. Mm. <sighs> I don't like them drawing a bunch of cards. That's not good for us, not at all. Bog Stomper, that's just a 6-5 vanilla. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, we 
actually draw something pretty cool here. I'm gonna block this in case we draw Grave Digger because I do have two of them. Stop it. Yeah, so how many lands do we have? Oof, Ether Tunnel's bad. That's bad. Uh, okay, so there's one swamp in our graveyard. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we actually have seven lands left out of 16 cards. Great. Ether Tunnel on a Bog Stopper. Stop it. Am I just dead? Oh my. Yeah, I mean, I don't like to do this, but I kind of think I have to. I don't know why they did that pre-combat. That's a little... But... Yeah, like, why didn't they do that after I blocked? I don't know. That was weird. I'm just, like, super dead, though. Um... Like very, very, very dead. So now I have no flying blockers. They can get in the air for five. And then that's 12. Yeah, 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 we're so dead. Very dead. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Oof. Okay. Um... Should I bring in another plummet? Like, I don't think these are doing anything. And their flyers did wreck me, so having two of those around is probably fine. Woof. That was uh, a beating. For sure. For sure. All right. This'll do. That'll do. I love Rabbit Bite. I love that card. It's so good. It's so good. Okay, opponent. Take it easy on me, please. Thanks. Gravedigger, nice to have around. Not playing it on four, but... It is a nice little asset, so thanks. <sighs> Deck hand. Gross. Card is very gross. Um, I, mean, I guess we can bite it. I'd rather like use a combat trick on it, but what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Gotta use what you got. Okay, that's a bear. Um, yeah, I will eventually kill that deckhand, but not right now, I guess. Because I'd like to be able to double spell, but that's probably not going to happen. So I think we do have to bite that at some point, like probably next turn. Blood letter. Ugh. That's right. We have poison tip. I do kind of want to get rid of that. <sighs> I 
I wish we had drawn some mana. Card is very, 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 very good. And it's already able to bring it back. It's going to be really annoying. Ether tunnel on a bear, sure. I mean, I am gonna block, and if they have the plus two endurance, so be it. We have the grave digger. Yep. It's unfortunate, but gotta do it. You gotta do it. I don't know if I'm gonna win this. That that ether tunnel is actually like wrecking me. Because I can't block, so I might as well attack. That card, I'm actually really impressed by it. I don't think I've ever actually played against that card. I, I played a decent amount of M19. Um, had we been drawing our lands though, I don't I think we would have been in a much better spot too. Like maybe we could have raced because we have big dudes. He's a big dude. Wow, two ether tunnels. Dang. That's bad. All right, so we need white mana. Now. Oh boy, I'm just dead. That's pretty incredible. Ether tunnels. Jeez. That stuff feels cheap. That feels cheap. But what are you gonna do? Some, sometimes those cards get you. I mean, I don't like that card because it's asking to be two for one, but we just, we didn't have removal. So it can be really good in that very sitch. But, that's all right. That was interesting. So, down a match. But we still have two matches to go, and I actually, I think this deck is fine. So, I, I was anticipating a 2-1. We just got to win out. It'll be all right. All right, thanks for watching. Round two. Hopefully, we don't get wrecked this time. We're getting, we're getting wrecked. All right, I'm into this hand, though. Got has removal, it has a poison tip, it has all our colors. Let's do it. Boom. Just need a couple more lands, deck. Work it out. Two more lands and I'm happy. Three more lands and we can do everything that we want to do. Okay, that's nice, that's nice, very nice. Nice to have around that Luminous Bones is, sure, sure. Mm. I mean, I would have liked the two or three drop, but we really don't have them. Like, most of our creatures are four drops. So that's a thing. Lich. Interesting. Okay, well, I guess we have to luminous bond that. Cause like what am I gonna do with a Five five indestructible. <laughs> okay, that's also five five. Gross. Dang, I'm getting wrecked today by these crazy cards, yo. Um. Okay, I th think I want to play Thornhide Wolves, but we're. Still gonna take five damage. That's pretty bad. Pretty, pretty bad. I could have played Poison Tip and then use that to bite. But if we draw 
we'd have to draw another forest for that to work here. Um, I was trying to use mana, but I think the poison tent maybe would have been better. Mm, okay. Well, we can do this in unnatural endurance. So that's not the worst. That was not the worst. I'm not attacking, that's for sure. Okay. So. Please don't do anything crazy, opponent. I'd rather you didn't. I'd really rather you didn't. Pioneer is not crazy. That's not crazy, that's fine. Their board is very wide though. So they send apparatus, right? No. Okay. Okay. Um. Can bite the apparatus? I mean, it is a five five. So I think we do want to get rid of that. Oh, okay, sure. Cool. Isn't this an artifact? Oh, when you control, uh, it's not artifacts. Okay, sorry, I never really see that card played. Okay, dissenter. a little bit more life I maybe would have sent the poison tip but I don't know animator okay that's fine okay wrestling girl looks pretty good on this board Ha, boar on the board. Return target. Okay, so they're gonna return the poison tip. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we're gonna take five. That's not good. And then we're probably just dead if they attack out next turn because we're gonna get three and then, yeah, it's not good. Not good, unless we draw, not that. So yeah, if I play poison tip, we have four blockers. So we could block here, 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 here. That's not enough, right? Four blockers, one, two, three, four. Yeah, that's three. get wrecked i thought our deck was actually like pretty decent too i'm like a little sad um i don't actually really want to make like changes yes they have the thopter i don't even think plum is that good though it's like the artifact stuff that makes it good I don't know. Okay, do not play Rupture Spire on turn one. I feel like I did that in the beginning of the format. I was like, okay, that's not how you want to start a game. All right, since we don't have a three drop, I'm going to play Child of Night. We barely have any three drops in the deck. We have the Rejuvenator and Gearbrook Guide, so odds are we're not drawing a three drop here. We're slaying more. Okay, so let's attack for two. Gain a little bit of life. Do this. Okay. So next turn, I think I like Bristling Boar, but we'll see what they play. Their deck is kind of cute, so if they don't get the artifacts, like maybe it's not gonna be that good, we'll see. Yeah, I 
think I like boar. Nope. I mean, I maybe could have bluffed and attacked with Child of Night, but I think they're blocking it. Murder? I forgot that was in this, so the card's great. Okay. Hmm. Sure. Invocation. Spicy, spicy. We're not there yet, but it's a nice card to have around for sure. Wind mage, okay. <sighs> Card draw, fantastic. Okay, let's invocate. Gravedigger gets us a bristling boar. So that isn't terrible, honestly. Um. Dreadmall is just a 6-6, six, six, though. But I think I like Gravedigger. And then just kill the Wind Mage. That's good enough. It's pretty good. The next turn we can cast two things. I don't hate it. I have to double block this. Um, I don't know. I think even the archer back is fine. I probably could have sent the archer there, honestly. I think we send it here. Oh no, what is this? No! That's beard. Okay. 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 So they're gonna lose, um, they lose two, three, four life. So that's good. And then, yeah, we pass, flash in the higher blade. <sighs> that's really scary. Hexproof, okay. <laughs> A good draw would be like something to keep this around longer. Like an endurance? I don't know. No, not that. Oh, I'm supposed to flash in this. That's fine. I actually don't think I'm attacking this turn. Drilling cards, oh no! Get wrecked! Get wrecked! Stop drawing cards. That's fine. They probably send Chromium, right? Yeah. I, wouldn't, I think a combat strike wins us the game here, but we'll see. Maybe not. If they have another blocker. Close. Boo. Boo. Hmm. Hmm. 
I think that is what we want. I think we attack with everybody and then abnormal endurance the poison tip. Whoa. Why'd they scoop though? Oh, because they knew. Okay, right, things are gonna die. Yeah, they can't keep everything around. Okay, yeah, when you're that low on life, I was like, whoa! I thought we had a minute though. Okay. Whew. So plummet's no good against that elder dragon, right? Because they can just make it hexproof. So there's no reason to bring that in. Um, I really like abnormal endurance instead of titanic growth. We have some really good end to the battlefield stuff. So I'm gonna just try that. I do like titanic growth though. I don't know. Wow, no lands. Look, Ma, no lands. All right, that's fine. Keep. Bottom, because we're nowhere near getting a planes. And now I draw planes and then I cry a little bit. Okay, no, that's good. We're gonna need some help here. Okay, that's that's getting there. We need a few more lands. And uh I need for them to not have good stuff. Key things. Nothing? Alright, what do you have? A counter spell? I mean I could have put talons on this. I guess I could have and I should have. Because, like, what else are we doing? That I messed up. If they make me discard, though, that's a good card to discard. Okay. Uh, yeah, we can do both, right? One, two, three. Two. Yeah, I should have done that last turn though. So they should be at 16, because I should have put the talons on. I rot. Well, then what did I say about discarding? That's annoying. <laughs> So I think I'm actually supposed to discard the Dreadmaw, because if we don't draw a land, we can play the 4-5. That's very annoying, though. So maybe... I just I did feel in my heart that they were going to make me discard. I should have listened to it. Listen to your heart. Shoulda. Coulda, woulda, shoulda. We didn't see that in any other games. That was just like a intuition thing. It was correct to play the Talons, because we, we did not see that before. Oh, stop it. So rude. Hmm. I mean, we probably have to cage something crazier than this, but we'll see. No, it's just a 2-2. Two, two. All right, so I guess I am caging the Wind Mage. Because then we get in for a bunch. Gravedigger back the Dreadmaw would not have been a bad thing either, but I don't I don't hate this. They're just taking seven, that's fantastic. I mean, blocking the dissenter isn't good for them. I get it, but that is nice. 
can't be blocked by black creatures. Ugh. Well, now they can block stuff. That's annoying. Lich. That's not good. Well, I mean, I can attack with the Vine Mare, I guess. Because <laughs> they can't block this. So I have to put the Pioneer. Oh my gosh. That's so annoying. I mean, I don't, I don't think we're actually in bad shape because I can block the Lich with the center, make a zombie. Yeah, I don't particularly want to take five, so I'm not going to. I'm not going to. Nah. Nah, I'm good. Thanks. Uh, bouncing the token. That's gross. Okay, um, mana? Shucks. So I guess I'm supposed to send the mare. They just go to two, wow. Whew. If we could hit lands here, I think we would like be in very good shape, like having a six, six, a five, five, I wouldn't hate it, you know? I wouldn't hate it. Cool. We also have Talents of Wildwood, so I could have put that on the Thorn Hive, but let's try to do this. Wait, actually. I, yeah, I guess we send Vinemare first. Can't be blocked by black creatures. Cool. And if they double block here, then they lose the Lich. Okay, so I'm trading this for the Lich, which is fine. Because now they just have a 2-2. Two -two. Like, I definitely don't hate that trade. That's, that's okay. I got two. Flood. Oh, dang. That's rough. But it is what it is. <gasps> okay. Well, that was a little scary. That was definitely scary. Okay. One more match. We can do this. Believe. Just believe. We can get that 2-1. All right, y'all. Thanks for watching. All right. Here we are in round three, trying our very best to get these two packs. Can I keep a hand with six lands and a 2-1? No. I don't think so. Can I keep this hand? Probably. Uh, I don't know about that. I definitely want to be able to play Vampire Sovereign on five, so I put that on top. Um... But that's how we're gonna draw more lands. I just, I, I do want that double swamp. I don't know. That was, that's a little rough. Mew. I kind of wanted to play the planes because that's a total power move when you play three different basics. But we'll just do it this way. It's fine. Hello, my kitten. <laughs> She's very chatty today. Pioneer. Okay. I don't think I was supposed to just throw away the dissenter. I guess they could have attacked with it before playing the person more. Ooh, a two five. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. I like that guy. He's so cute. Mm, yeah, 
yeah. I'm gonna play this. Um, a two five feels pretty bad. So like, normally I would send the bristling boar, and if we had something else to do with this endurance, I would send it. But we don't. So let's just play a five drop. Play the five drop. Okay. They have a lot of mana. They have a lot of cards. They have a two for reach. Okay, no worries about that. That's fine. Let's just send these, see what happens. So do I kill the two five or do I kill the spider? Kiss the spider, I don't know. Like, maybe the Bristling Boar is actually better for us to have get through right now? I don't... I don't really know. Divination. Oh, I missed that card. I think I haven't played a Divination in weeks. Weeks, I tell ya, weeks. I don't know, maybe it's better to kill the 2-5, honestly. Honestly, I'm not really sure. We could draw another combat trick. That'd be great. Three, three, okay. Or we could just draw land. That too. That too. So now we're just trading three damage for one damage, which is fine. I think this guy is very cute. I like his little arms. He looks like he's trying to balance. He's like, oh, like a teeter totter. Um. All right, I'll bite. I'll just have this become a two two. That's fine. Enzo. I'm sorry, it's my popper. He hears a little popper outside. He's like, I got a call to them. Uh, this is kind of a problem. Gear per guide. Uh, yeah. I need that death touch dude stat. Because I don't have good blocks for this Bayloth. I was supposed to keep back the vampire soldier at this point, but I do. I would like to kill them. Like that. That's ideal. And we don't do that if we don't attack. So that's a thing. Um. Do I want to take eight? Mm, no, I think I'm just gonna trade that here. Yeah, that's stupid. Two five. Pretty annoying. It's pretty annoying. Mirror image? No! Any creature you control. Okay, not any creature. I was like, please don't copy this. Grave digger. Uh, yeah, that's definitely a thing. Okay, um. So I wonder if they. They're not gonna chump yet with that doctor. There's no way. Wow. I'm surprised. Um, okay. We're definitely grave digging back something. What is it gonna be? Doom Dissenter gets us two blocks. I actually think that's what we want right now. I need to get in the air three times. That's it. That's it. So we just have to try to survive a little bit. They have two cards. If I can draw that death touch dude, that'd be fantastic. I will take five. 
I'm not taking 10. I'm not doing it. No. Stop it. I'm having flyers. It's like really bad. Uh, showing lands is really bad. Um. Okay, so now I'm not winning the air. I'm just really surprised they jumped with that Thopter so soon. So I kind of think, I kind of think that we have to double block one of these five fives, which I don't want to do. Because if they have bounce, that's going to be bad. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. The combat strike is going to be bad. There's a lot of things that can go wrong here. Um. So this was, that was playing around Titanic growth. If they had a bounce spell, that would have been not good. Second Gravedigger? Or just the forest, really austeric. Fantastic, it's just what I needed. It actually wasn't what I needed. I made it up. Okay. Um. It's not ideal. That is not ideal. Now we did get a little bit flooded. So that was totes a thing. Alright, I can take two, right? If they have gift of growth or super I mean we're we're just dead. Like I can't that's not gonna help me, right? No, we're done here. Okay. I don't even know if I wanna see the next card. Okay, that was not gonna help. Poison tip archer would have been good. Okay. Giant spider looks really good against them because they have a lot of thopters. So does skeleton archers. Um but Take out the endurance, I think. They just, they have so many little chumpers. And I don't think we saw that much removal from them. Okay, this will do. Two grave diggers. Okay. Do not play Rupture Spare on turn one. I have to keep telling myself that because I might have done it actually more than once. Which I know is terrible. I know. I know that. I did eventually learn, though. Ha! Huh. Okay. Three, two, yeah! We'll definitely trade this. They probably will. That's interesting. I mean, we have a grave digger, so I'm more inclined to want to trade right now. I'm very surprised they did that, though. Oh, okay. Okay. Well. Do I cage the spider? That feels really bad. But maybe. Like, I don't love it, but if we put talents on this, that doesn't do anything. If we, we play a Doom to Center, that doesn't do anything. What's a Gravedigger gonna do? Get back a 3 2? Oh boy. Spiders for days. Ah. <sighs> okay. I mean, I guess I could have attacked, but they're blocking. They have showed us that they're gonna block. Oh boy. 
Oh boy, I don't feel good about this, but I guess we have something to, oh, Green Seeker. No, that got so good. Okay, well, well, well. If I attack with Spider, they could just, mm, they probably just like block it with a bunch of stuff, which is fine. I mean, we do have Gravedigger, but I don't think attacking with it is actually that good. Let's just do that. Get that back. Pass. I would like to draw a couple of lands because invocation on this spider would be helpful. Why are they playing so many giant spiders? Like, we don't have flyers. Not really. I wish we did. We don't. We just had that beautiful five drop. Ooh. Yeah, I actually thought this deck was like pretty good. I thought we had like decent value and stuff, and our removal's not bad, but um I don't know that we're gonna get these two packs. I just don't know. That's kind of bad. That's kind of bad. Because now they have my talents, too. Ah! Okay. Well, that's, that's pretty good. Getting us a land here. Hopefully. Good. Okay, putting an archer on the bottom is kind of bad, though. Um, I'm going to cast... Oh, wait, it comes in tapped? Shucks. For some reason, I thought that was untapped. I mean, it's still the play, because I need to get to seven mana here so I can kill my own spider, which I can't. I mean, we really don't have anything that can kill a five power, but that's, the switcheroo was kind of brutal. Um, yeah, okay, whatever. He was in the graveyard before he can go back in there. It's fine. I wonder if they're debating sending my spider against me. Helps me get back the towns, though. Okay, seventh land, Titanic growth. Mm. <laughs> so I'm not grave diggering back. Grave diggering back that higher blade. I'd rather save this for something better later. But we're gonna need we need a land, like real bad. Maybe I was supposed to send in Rejuvenator to try to grave dig back that. I'm gonna try to use Titanic Growth defensively. But the worst case scenario is they do something crazy here and then we're able to grave dig back or grave digger if it died, which is cute. Very cute. Now I can grave dig back the spider though and that block stuff, so that's fine. Okay, wait, wait, this is fine. Whew. Because I do not want to get rid of either one of these. Okay, invocation. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If they counter this, I might just scoop and be like, I'm done. Cool, they did it. Okay. So, yeah, Vampire Sovereign's great. It's fantastic. I will give that a go, actually. So then we'll kill the symbiont. Oh, target opponent loses three life, sure. And then, yeah. Kill the copy, I guess. Although... I don't know. Does it matter? 
the original versus the copy here. I'm not sure. Okay, that was a good invocation. I don't really have attacks though. Murder. Okay, well, we have a grave digger, so that's not the worst. If they essence scatter, I'll be sad, but if it sticks, we're gonna be in good shape. But now they have four cards in their hand. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Okay, cool. So, do we wanna land? No. One, two, three, four. I do want the Sovereign again, but if they have Essence Scatter, it's gonna be so sad. So, I actually think I take Giant Spider here, which sounds like crazy, I know. It totally does, but I know I can play this this turn without it getting countered. And they have showed us Essence Scatter. So I think this is like the safer play. You know? Hmm. Uh, well, I had dwindle anyway. Okay, that's bad. I don't think I can win now. Mm, I guess Archer would be helpful. I could I could have blocked that symbiote. Here too. Okay. Uh, Manalith is not great. We do not have good attacks. <sighs> we are in dire straits here. Okay, so I can block the symbiont. I guess it's not over yet. If we if we draw Archer into like another archer we could maybe get some things done here but i don't know all right so i will block now uh this gets destroyed mm. like i don't have good attacks <laughs> I mean, I can put this on something. I thought this deck was okay too. I was like pretty happy with it, but we, we got reacted. Reacted. Sorry, it does happen from time to time. Um, yeah, here's the Essence Scatter, which is fine. I'm, I'm so dead, right? Like, there's no way I can... We go to... Oh, we're just dead. Why did I think that I wasn't going to die this turn? I don't know why I thought that, but uh, we're going to die. We are gonna die. I mean, I could have maybe saved that cage for later. Um, I'm trying to think if like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't think I could have won that game though. This was pretty brutal. And yeah, maybe I should have brought in plum plummets, I guess, but I thought with Thopters, like, we have things with Reach. We had the Spider, we had the two Death Touch guys, we just didn't see them, and we have the Vampire Sovereign, and we have removal. We just, we didn't get what we needed. It happens. All right, we won two of them. Ah, that's so not satisfying, but it does happen from time to time, so I'm going to post this video and hope y'all can do better than me. If you go back and play some M19, because you have like a little bit over a week before it's gone, which is cool. I'm definitely ready for Ravnica, but 
One twos make me sad. It's all right. I thought the games were enjoyable. The ones where we actually like could do stuff. So. <sighs> Dang flyer, still good. Okay. Well, I'll see y'all next week. I don't know what format I'm gonna be playing for next week. It's either gonna be M19 or Cube. I'm not sure. Ravnica is gonna be out on Arena. They're doing open beta. If y'all haven't joined the party yet, that's gonna start September 27th. Um, for everyone, I'm actually gonna be streaming it because they invited a group of streamers to stream it on Arena on the 26th. So y'all should tune into Twitch, watch your favorite streamers play Magic. Um, if that's not me, that's okay. There's a lot of people that are going to be playing. So come hang out. And then, yeah, on the 27th, everyone will have access. You can play with the cards before pre-release. So that's kind of fun. Um, so I hope you enjoy your pre-release week. And I'll see you next time. Have a great day.